Today in this 2016 Honda Pilot, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the eTrailer.com Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number E98840. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. Now the first thing you'll notice about this hitch is that it is completely hidden behind a rear fascia. The only part that you'll see hanging down is the actual Class 3 2 by 2 inch receiver opening itself. Now one thing many of our customers ask when they're purchasing a hitch for their pilot, since they're planning on using it with a bike rack or a cargo carrier, is that when they have that installed on their hitch, what's going to happen with the backup sensors? Well, if you do have that installed, as soon as you put your vehicle in reverse, your backup sensor will go off. But as soon as you put your vehicle back in drive, the alarm will go off and there'll be no warning messages at all on the dash. Now one thing that does set this hitch apart from others on the market is its finish. It has a matte carbide powder coat finish, which we found has been very scratch and rust resistant when you're comparing it to a standard gloss black or flat black powder coat finish. On the side of our receiver, you'll find our industry standard 5 8 of an inch diameter hitch pin hole to secure your hitch mounted accessories with the pin and clip. We have a pin and clip available for you separately on our website. Welded on the bottom, are rolled steel safety chain loops. Now what's nice about these, even though they aren't the largest opening, they'll still accept a very large safety chain hook like this one without any problems. You can easily clip it on and clip it off. On the back of our receiver, you'll find this collar that's welded on. Now what's nice about this collar, not only does it help give us a nice finished look, but it does help improve the strength of the receiver opening. Now this vehicle is equipped with a spare tire that resides underneath the back of it. You don't even have to worry about removing the spare tire in order to get the hitch installed. You'll still have full access to your spare should you ever need it. As far as weight capacities go, this hitch features a 900 pound max tongue weight rating, which is the amount forcing down, and a 6,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. It does support the use of weight distribution, and when you're using that with your trailer, your tongue weight rating remains the same at 900 pounds, but your max trailer weight rating increases to 8,000 pounds. Now, as always, you wanna make sure you consult with the owner's manual of your pilot and not exceed what the vehicle's rated for. Go by whichever number's less. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch-mounted accessory you may need, such as a ball mount, bike rack, or a cargo carrier, you're looking at about 14 inches from the ground to the top of the receiver opening, and about five inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how easy it is to get installed. To begin our install, we're gonna point out the weld nuts in our frame where our hitch is gonna be secured to. If we look straight up on the driver's side frame rail, we'll find three weld nuts that go straight up into the frame rail. Our passenger side's the exact same way. Now it's a great idea you spray a little lubricant inside your threads and then use a wire brush, part number 814092 on our website to clean out your threads. And you'll wanna do this at every location. This will just help move any loose dirt, rust, or debris. Now, if you look up at the passenger side, you can see it's just a mirror image of the driver's side. The hardware we're gonna be using is this bolt here and a conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face away from the bolt head up towards the hitch, and it's the same for every location. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch in a position, and we'll secure it with our hardware. With all of our hardware now started, we can tighten it down. We're using a 22 millimeter socket. Now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. And that'll complete our look at and showing you how to install the eTrailer.com Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number E98840 on this 2016 Honda Pilot.